hypothesis testing， 一個老師俾你好多練習，你做咗好多，但係唔知道自己計緊乜嘅 testing， 唔好擔心。今日就等我嚟為你講解 hypothesis testing 佢背後嘅概念究竟係啲咩？今日呢條片主要係講解概念，會比較少牽涉到計數嘅嘢。向解釋之前，我假設你已經識做 hypothesis testing， 已經識啲 basics 啦，但係唔瞭解概念係啲咩。好，咁廢話少講，我哋開始。首先 ，testing 係 test 啲咩咧 ？testing 係 test for assumption。test 你嘅假設，咁 hypothesis testing 佢嘅步驟咧就好似我哋諗法嘅過程，只不過佢係以數學嘅角度嚟 quantify， 俾個數值佢嚟為我哋嘅假設嘅標準嚟做比較。我哋會先一步一步嘅解釋呢啲諗法嘅過程係點樣嘅。第一個我知道嘅概念就係 extreme and surprise， 我會用一個例子嚟講。咁喺頭先嘅短片入邊 ，Tom 一開始認為老鼠嘅 size 就係咁細啊 ，let's say 大概十 cm 啊。咁佢係假設，佢係 assumption 係老鼠嘅 size 就好似 Jerry 咁細，十 cm 咁細。但係一旦第二隻、第三隻老鼠出咗嚟，因為佢哋嘅 size 實在係太大隻啦，已經超出佢預期嘅 size。所以第二、第三隻老鼠嘅 size 對於 Tom 嚟講實在係太 extreme 咗啊！過後 Tom 嘅反應就係 surprise。點解 surprise 啊？因為相對於我哋嘅假設，呢、这個情況嘅機率好低，冇咩太可能會發生。所以當時候 Tom 會選擇 reject 佢對於老鼠嘅 size 就係十 cm 嘅假設。Under Tom's assumption, Tom is very surprised because he observes something very extreme from what he expected. So Tom decided to reject his assumption of the size of the mouse is 10 cm. 喺 Tom 嘅假設入邊 ，Tom 好驚訝，因為佢睇到一啲好 extreme 嘅嘢，所以 Tom 就選擇 reject 佢原有嘅假設，亦即係老鼠係十個 cm。咁如果出嚟嘅第二、第三隻老鼠淨係大過 Jerry 少少咧，比如話十五 cm 啦，呢、这個 size 唔係好 extreme， 因為喺 Tom 嘅預期範圍入邊，所以 Tom 就唔會 surprise， 所以呢一個情況 Tom 就唔會 reject 呢個 assumption， 佢依然會認為老鼠嘅 size 就係大概十 cm 左右。簡單啲嚟講，就係一件事出乎預料嘅時候，你會好驚訝，好 surprise。過後你就會選擇 reject 你一開始嘅假設。點解我會講選擇呢兩個字咧？因為我哋並唔知道真相係啲咩。老鼠嘅 size 係咪真係好似差唔多 Jerry 嘅 size 咧？有可能真係有咁大隻老鼠，亦都可能老鼠唔係咁大隻嘅，淨係大笨象扮嘅啫。好，咁我哋整理一下思路先。首先你有一個諗法，一個假設，之後你去觀察一啲嘢。如果你觀察到一啲好 extreme 出乎預料嘅嘢，咁你就會好 surprise。當你好驚訝嘅時候，你就會 reject 你原本嘅假設。咁如果你觀察到嘅嘢喺預期之中，一啲都唔 extreme， 咁自然你就唔會 reject 你原本嘅假設。我哋嚟睇第二個例子。依家呢張相有兩個位置 ，student A 同 student B 嘅位。咁地下有一個 correction tape 啦。咁如果班上係冇人嘅，你都唔可以問任何人嘅情況之下，咁我問你呢、这個 correction tape 會係 student A 嘅咧，定係 student B 嘅咧？你會點諗？可以暫停條片嚟慢慢諗，諗好咗可以繼續播放呢條片啦。OK， 咁你可能會諗 correction tape 係屬於 student B 嘅，因為佢係距離係比較靠近 student B 嘅位。咁如果我哋唔講 student B， 就係講 student A 咧。由於 correction tape 離 A 嘅位置好遠，所以你會認為 correction tape 係唔屬於 A 嘅。OK， 咁如果我哋係用 hypothesis testing 嘅角度嚟睇，會係點嘅咧？咁首先我哋會有兩個 assumption。第一個 assumption 係我哋原有嘅假設。咁我哋假設呢個 correction tape 係屬於 A 嘅。咁我哋會有第二個假設，第二個假設咧就係、是、反對你原有嘅第一個假設
，亦即係呢個 correction tape 唔屬於 A 嘅。咁第一個情況，如果 correction tape 係離呢個 A 嘅位置咁遠咧，相對 H not 嚟講，呢、这個距離係好 extreme 嘅，所以你會好驚訝嚇。如果我講呢個 correction tape 係屬於 A 嘅，係咪真係個？之後你就會選擇 reject H not 嚟做出一個結論，就係話 correction tape 係唔屬於 A 嘅。咁呢個係咪代表 correction tape 係咪真係唔屬於 A 嘅咧？答案係唔知道，因為我哋永遠唔知道個真相係啲咩。啊？咁做 hypothesis testing 有咩用咯？咁我嘅諗法就係 hypothesis testing 佢雖然唔可以同我哋講個真相係啲咩，但係因為有統計、有證據、有理由。所以我哋做出嚟嘅結論咧，係有參考價值嘅。OK， 咁我哋嚟睇第二個情況。咁如果係 correction tape 係咁遠咧，啊呢、这個距離咁 extreme， 如果我話呢個 correction tape 係屬於 A 嘅，有可能咩？之後你就去 reject H not 啦。咁第三個情況，如果係咁遠咧，啊當然 reject H not 啦。咁第四個情況咁樣咧？距離一啲都唔 extreme， 相對於 H not 嚟講，呢、这個假設係唔屬於驚訝嘅，所以唔會 reject H not。然之後就 conclude 呢一個 correction tape 係屬於 A 嘅。第五個情況，咁如果係咁咧，嗯，應該 reject 唔 reject H not 咧？咁問題就嚟啦，我幾遠先叫做 extreme 咧？所以喺數學入邊，我哋就需要一個 value 嚟俾一個 quantification。嚟描述嗰個距離，仲有幾遠先 reject H not， 所以我哋就需要 alpha 個 significance level， 仲有 test statistic value 嚟做比較。所以喺 hypothesis testing 入邊，我哋會有 H not 第一個原有嘅假設就係 parameter equals to some value， 第二個假設就係 alternative hypothesis， 佢係反對你原有嘅 hypothesis 嘅。之後我哋就會寫一個 alpha， 我哋會 set 一個 significance level 究竟係等於幾多？咁一般上我哋會用 five percent significance level。之後我哋愛諗用咩 statistics， 我哋都有一個 function， 一個 formula for test statistics under original assumption， which is H not。當我哋有個 function 就代表有一個 distribution， 喺呢個 distribution 入邊。用嗰個 alpha level 嚟揾 critical value， 亦即係揾咩 value 先至叫做好 extreme。咁之後我哋就觀察一啲嘢啊，就揾出 test statistics value。之後就喺 distribution 入邊就睇 test statistics value 入邊嘅位置喺邊度。我哋可以同 critical value 嚟做比較。如果超過 critical value， 咁 test statistics value 就可以被認為好 extreme。我哋一旦睇到 extreme 嘅嘢，就會 surprise， 然之後就會 reject H not。咁如果 test statistic value 冇超過 critical value 咧，咁就唔 extreme 又唔 surprise， 咁就唔會 reject H not 啦。最後你就做出你自己嘅結論。咁今日條片就到呢度啦。如果呢條片有幫到你，請撳個 like、share 同埋 subscribe button。咁係咁多，拜。